Welcome to your interview series of these amazing presenters for the Ladies Power Lunch Presents Transformation 2020. My name is Felicia Searcy, your dream life activator. Your dream is my passion. And I am your event pre-note speaker. So on February 21st, to give you a, a taste of what you'll be getting on March 16th and to really get your juices going, I will be presenting a webinar, Three Keys to Creating a Life That You Love While Deepening Your Spiritual Connection in order to really help create a field of receptivity and possibility for you as you come into this event. Watch this email for more information on that. Now, the reason we're here is to meet the amazing Lisa Danforth. <laughs> um, she's going to be a presenter, so we want to give you a taste of what she's bringing, her brilliance, in order for you to um, start wetting your appetite and get you excited about this. All right, so Lisa, who are you? What is it that you do, and what is the kind of brilliance that you bring with your business? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm so excited for this, but being a part of a panel of other just, just wonderful people. Uh, so I'm a business strategist. I'm a 27-year, five-time business owner, and I have absolutely understood the issues and the obstacles that are inherent to being a woman in business. So what I really do is, being a business strategist, I definitely bring that strategy to the table, and we develop that strategy, but often it's the soft skills that we need to support the strategy, to implement the strategy day by day when things get difficult. So we work on prioritization, um, you're really achieving those goals through boundaries, communication, and habits. I found that one of the things that really support the women in making the, the transformation that they're looking for is habits, implementing those good, good habits. Yeah, you can have all of the, the knowledge, but if you don't have the habits and the uh, awareness of how to apply it, it's just, it's, it's entertainment, right? It's just purely entertainment. It's frustration is what it is. I see the women spinning their wheels and then we can really get them connected to their purpose, their mission, their why. Yeah. That allows them to really step into implementing the habits that aren't necessarily, they're very simple, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. And that's where we often get tripped up. So there's a lot of mindset that kind of comes in as well. Nice, Lisa. Very cool. All right. So why did you decide to be part of uh, Transformation 2020? What was it about this event that said, oh, I got to do this? <laughs> so many different things. I mean, I love Dr. Devia. I absolutely love the community. So supportive, so amazing. And be able to be a part of this and raising the energy. And I really believe in a synergy, the, the sum of the parts are greater than the whole. So when we get all of this beautiful energy, all these amazing people together for this event, I just think that that is true transformation. When we can start all shifting our vibration, shifting our energy and showing up the way that we want to show up and seeing other people doing the same thing that allows us to really step into our greatness, uh, our brilliance and be able to share it. So I was thrilled when I was invited and can't wait to come down for this event. Nice. Yeah. Beautifully stated. Um, so along these same lines, then the theme is transformation. What does the word transformation to you and how does it tie into what you're presenting and what will attendees learn and gain by attending your portion? It's all about transformation, right? We're transforming ourselves all the time, whether we're realizing it or not, with the choices, with the habits, with the thoughts that we are bringing to each day and each moment. So to me, transformation is really just living into who we want to be, who we desire to be, and allowing ourselves to step into that. Uh, what do... Uh, what was the other question with bringing so what, what yeah what would they gain so when they come and hear you they're going to walk away with this that oh my god i can apply this right away so thank you for re reframing that so it is really about what i'm going to be talking about is work-life alignment really being able to make those choices with the vision of not only the woman that we want to be, but the business that we want to have, the relationships that we want to experience, and the life that we want to live. And the way that we're going to do that, the way that we're going to transform our lives, because we're always wanting to evolve, is by doing it with 
with the alignment. When, when what we do isn't in alignment with who we are, we'll continually struggle. Yep. So when we're connected to the true authentic person and allowing that vision to come through, I find so many women who have had a family or we've, we've experienced life, we put our goals, our dreams, and our vision on the back burner so that when we can reconnect to it, we can truly create an aligned action strategy plan to get there. And that's what I really want to be talking about is reconnecting to that and the ways that we can create the habits that support us in making those action steps every single day and transforming not only our lives, but others' lives by just creating the impact that we're here to make. I love that. You know, we will never be able to go beyond the way we see ourselves and what we know for ourselves. And when we really answer the call to vision, we're answering the call for true transformation because that is the way that life grows us into even greater versions of ourselves. It's just, they're going to be so blessed by what you're bringing. Um, okay. So if somebody's on the fence, they're not sure, even after listening to you, if they're still, I don't know, what would you say to them to help them pull the trigger and say, okay, that's it. I'm coming. It's an excellent question. There's so many things that I would love to say, uh, but I'll sort of sum it, boil it down. One of it is, what is the life that you want to live? How is it that you want to show up each and every day? You know, who doesn't want to live their best life? And surrounding yourself with a group of people that are there to support you and to lift you up. I just think the energy, like I said before, is, is so amazing. So ask around look around, join the Facebook group, do whatever you can to really gain the information on what this amazing event is about. And then you can make an informed choice. And I believe the more informed you are, the more you get, the faster you're gonna sign up and the faster you're gonna get there, but also the faster you're going to be able to receive the information that's gonna be given. Because when we know what we want, we can show up and be very intentional in how we're showing up and what we wanna receive. So we can be listening with a different, different ear. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Clear intention directs our attention. The universe doesn't read our intention, it reads our attention. So, oh, so much, yes. <laughs> We talk the same language. Um, <laughs> all right. Now, I know that you have something amazing to offer our attendees to get them, get their juices going now so they don't have to wait until the 16th. So what would you love to share with our folks now? Well, you are, I'm excited about this. So I have a, uh, a free ebook on my website, website which is just lisadanforth.com front slash free. And it is how to communicate powerfully without apology. So really going in and going deep on, on what that is, the tools that you can have. So if you just go to the website, uh, opt in, it will add you to my list. If it's something that you don't want to be on, that's cool too. Just when you receive the download, just unsubscribe and that's totally fine. And there's also a, a freebie on there as well. It's just a PDF, but it's a, a time management PDF, which I find is always helpful to learn how to manage our time and manage our priorities, really. Yeah, absolutely. So no just, it sounds like it's a really powerful tool. And what's the name of the ebook again? It's Communicate Powerfully Without Apology. You know, stop <laughs> stopping our message, stop, stop either puffing ourselves up, stop apologizing. I mean, just notice how many times when you're in the grocery store and there's a woman that walks by, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But really being able to communicate clearly, intentionally, effectively, and without apology is how we're going to establish the boundaries that are going to support us in making the transformation that we want to make. Lisa, that sounds fabulous. All right. Well, they, the attendees are in for an amazing treat. They're going to be so blessed by what you bring and just that awareness of who they really are and the possibility that, that they can bring their greatest gift by means of what you're sharing with them. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really thrilled for them. So thank you so much for participating and we'll see you on the 16th. All right. Thank you. We'll see you there.